Hi, I am René Nizrotio from Lokimor, Water That Bites. Hi, I am Bernard Schmidt from the action group Water 88. In this video, we're going to talk about the water and Nestlé problem in Vittel, France. Vittel is a small city of 5,000 people. It is located in the Vosges region in the northeast of France. In the 19th century, a family of industrialists created the spa and a bottling plant whose production has increased over the years. In 1970, bottling went from glass to plastic. Nestlé then took a stake in the company before buying it all in 1990. Today, 1.6 billion bottles are produced every year. Also, it has been announced that 120 jobs will be cut by 2022 from existing 1,000 employees. Under our feet, there are three water tables. Water table A, which is the shallowest. Nestle Waters has exclusive rights to draw water, bottled under the brand Epar. Nestle also has exclusive rights on water table B, which is bottled under the brands Vital Grand Source and Contrex. The water table C, the deepest, is used by everyone. First, the inhabitants, communities, farmers, etc. In other words, it's simply the tap water. Second, the Hermitage, a dairy factory. And thirdly, Nestlé, again, which sells this water under the brand Vitel Bonne Source. Nestlé is therefore authorized to draw from all water tables of the sector. In the water table C, 1 billion liters per year is drawn. We don't have the numbers concerning water tables A and B. In total, the multinational company claims to collect 3 billion liters per year, the equivalent of 1,200 Olympic swimming pools. Note that on the one hand, all this water is free for Nestlé, since the boreholes belong to it, and that on the other hand, the company does not even pay tax on its bottles sold for export. With the current climate change and drawing levels, our water tables are at risk. Regarding water tables A and B, we do not know their condition. Nestlé has the information but does not share it. As for water table C, we know that natural replenishment is about 2 billion liters per year. The extraction level is 3 billion liters per year. Therefore, the water table loses 1 billion liters of water per year. This deficit has been known since 1970. Despite this, in 1990, the state allowed Nestlé to pump 1 billion liters per year until 2020. Over the years, the deficit of water table C has steadily increased. In 2010, the state and local elected officials began to seek a solution. In 2016, they decided they would build a water pipeline to bring water from other villages. In the meantime, Nestlé could keep its bottling business as usual. From the beginning, our action group has opposed the privatization of the water tables in favor of Nestlé. In October 2019, after four years of struggle, the state finally canceled the pipeline plan. A victory for our action group. Now that the water pipelines are off the table, the state has new proposals. First, it announced that it will set up an independent committee to monitor the three water tables. We support this measure while regretting that it is happening this late. Also, this shows that until now, the state had blindly granted all his pumping authorizations to Nestle. Second, the state confirms that water savings will have to be made. This time it will concern not only the inhabitants, but also the local companies. Work will be undertaken to reduce losses on the network and improve industrial processes. This is good news. Thirdly, the state announced a scenario aiming to collect less in water table C and more in water table B. We hope that this will mean the end of Nestlé's monopoly on water table B. As for water table A, 
the state does not even acknowledge it. He announces further public consultations on this whole scenario, which lacks details and explanation. Fourthly, the state announced the balancing of Water Table C in 2027. But time is running out. We cannot afford Water Table C emptying for another eight years. The state really does not take seriously the climate emergency going on here. What is the demand of Action Group Water 88? The demand does not change. In the face of climate change and several years of historical drought in the region, it is urgent to act. Concerning the Water Table C, the state must immediately cancel the authorization for Nestlé to draw water. This is the only way we can stop the annual deficit immediately by rebalancing replenishment and extraction. Then we must allow the water table C to replenish itself as soon as possible, utilizing methods such as water saving and quick reduction of withdrawals. Concerning all the water tables, while waiting for a precise update on the situation of water table A, B, C, the state must immediately declare a moratorium on all authorizations of water extraction. Subsequently, a new distribution of the resources will have to be established, with a priority given to the residents and not Nestle. All this, of course, with the greatest transparency and by consulting the people. The situation in Vitel is not unique. The multinational company Nestle has about a hundred sites around the world, wherever it is located. The company privatizes and monopolizes water as well as it pollutes heavily with its plastic bottles. It has the support of states that defend their interests instead of the people's. In several countries, citizens are mobilizing against this issue. So far, we have always acted locally. From now on, we must also mobilize on an international level. Several associations from France, Brazil, Canada and the United States have started to converge. A lot has yet to be built. Facing climate emergency, Nestle and their accomplice states we citizens have a duty to defend water, the planet and the living. Water is a common good, not a commodity. Water for life, not for profit. <laughs>